Hey there, Casey Dim at TaxLAcademy.com. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. If you're looking to learn about investing in tax faulted real estate, be sure you check out the description down below. Lots of amazing resources to help you get started. All right, tax liens versus tax deeds. Which one should you invest in? That's a question that I get asked just about every single day. And I've done videos on this in the past, but it certainly does not hurt to offer even more information about comparing liens and deeds because it's such a hot topic amongst brand new tax sell investors. Okay, so properly compare the two, you first need to understand the difference between a tax lien and a tax deed. A tax lien exists when a property owner fails to pay their taxes on time, when their taxes become delinquent. The tax lien investor steps in and buys that tax lien, which is a priority lien against the property, at an auction. In exchange, they earn interest on their money. So essentially, the tax lien investor is paying the taxes on behalf of the delinquent taxpayers, and they're doing that to earn interest on their money. Now, the property owner has a certain period of time called a redemption period in which they can come in, pay the back due taxes, pay the interest that is owed to the investor, and pay any fees, and they can reclaim the property. They can remove that lien. In the event that that redemption period expires, that the lien does not get redeemed, the tax lien holder can then foreclose their lien and become the owner of the property. Now, as far as the redemption time period, as far as the interest rate, all that stuff, it can vary from one county to the next, so check your local laws. Those are tax liens. A tax deed is a little bit different. Instead of the county actually auctioning off a lien against the property, they're essentially holding that lien in-house. So a taxpayer fails to pay their taxes on time, the taxes go delinquent, they have a certain period of time in which they can pay the county the back due taxes, probably some interest and some fees, then the county will simply say, okay, you're paid in full and will continue like nothing ever happened. In the event that that county is not paid off in time, instead of the county selling the lien, they'll actually sell the entire property. They'll sell a property with a tax deed. So a lien, you are buying a priority lien against the property, and a deed, you're actually buying the property itself. So that's kind of everything in a nutshell. Now, let's look at how you make money with liens and deeds both, and then we'll compare them a little bit more. With a tax lien, you are going to usually make your money based off the interest that you earn off your investment. So those liens will get redeemed most of the time. The national average is like 90 to 90 95%, the lien will get redeemed. That means the defaulting taxpayer will come in, they'll pay the taxes, and the lien will get canceled, you'll earn interest on your money, you'll move on to the next property. For the remainder of the time, you'll foreclose on the property, you'll have to sell the property. But again, most of the time, you're gonna be earning interest on your money, okay? As a tax deed investor, the only way for you to actually make money is not just to sit back and wait for somebody to pay you interest because nobody is ever gonna pay you interest. You actually own the property. So you actually have to sell that property, rent it out, lease it, whatever you wanna do with it, but you actually have to take additional action. So here's what I always say. Tax liens will provide you a lower return in most situations, but it'll also require much less work. Tax deeds will provide you a higher return, but they'll also require much more work since you actually have to sell that property. So when you're doing everything from the very get-go, the research is gonna be the same. Whether you're buying liens or deeds, you must know everything about the property because with a tax deed property, you actually own the property. With a tax lien, you might end up owning that property. So you wanna make sure that your investment in that lien is gonna be secure. So the research upfront is gonna be the same. The difference is the back end. The difference is the realization of your profit. With liens, you're usually just going to collect a check that comes to you in the mail. With deeds, you actually have to work, you have to sell that property. So deeds, you'll make more money, more effort. Liens, less money, less effort. Now certainly, what I recommend for so many people, once you really start getting involved in tax sell investing, you should have a mixture of both tax liens and tax deeds based on the amount of capital that you have and of course your risk tolerance. So that's it in a nutshell, guys. Tax liens versus tax deeds. I really hope this has helped you. For more information on investing in tax faulted real estate, I suggest that you pick up a copy of my book, The Tax Sell Playbook. This is the ultimate guide to buying and selling tax faulted real estate. This will really help you to determine should you invest in liens or deeds or what combination of both, especially if you're a brand new tax sell investor. You can get this book for free by going to taxcellacademy.com. Just cover the shipping cost. We'll ship it from our warehouse to your front. We're actually sending you a physical book, not an ebook or anything like that. And of course, if you want the most advanced training, 
head on over to taxlawacademy.com, click that join button, and become a member of the Tax Law Academy. I really hope this video has helped you out. And if so, be sure to click that like button and also be sure to subscribe to our channel. Hey, take care, folks. Bye-bye.